Hello friends, welcome to iExam B. In this video, we are going to talk about SEBI Grade A Legal Officer exam. When is the right time to start preparation for this exam and how much time is needed to prepare for this exam? There is no defined timeline in order to prepare for this exam. The timeline varies from student to student. It is different for you, it is different for your friend and it depends upon your basics, it depends upon your level of preparation, upon your understanding of the concept and whatever you have studied, whatever you have done, whatever have been your experiences so far in life, these will decide the timeline for you. And you are the best one who can self-assess the time you need for preparation of this exam. So, what is the benefit of this video? By the end of this video, you will be able to understand how you can assess that time for you. Whether you are a poor candidate, whether you are an average, good or excellent candidate. If you are one of the good or excellent candidates, then probably you may need less time to prepare. And if you are a poor or average, you may need more time. Now, if you have this video, then it is that you are willing to appear for SEBI grade legal exam. So, first thing that you should do, step 1 in this self-assessment is to check out the exam pattern, eligibility criteria, syllabus, etc. Exam pattern ko pehle dekhte hain. There are two phases. In both the phases, there are two papers. Paper 1 in phase 1 is Quant Reasoning English and GA, which will be of 100 marks. Har section mein 20 questions honge of 25 marks. A question 1.25 marks ka hoga. Total 80 questions of 100 marks. Or minimum aapko isme 30 marks leni hai. Paper 2 that is legal will again have multiple choice questions. But here are 50 questions, every question 2 marks, ka hoga, making a total of 100 marks and you have to take minimum 40 marks. Leni hai. This is the phase 1 pattern. And in phase 2, you again have two papers. Paper 1 is your descriptive English, which you will check drafting skills. Check ki you will have an essay, pressy and comprehension. And paper 2 is your legal in which there will be multiple choice questions, MCQs, 50 questions, each question of 2 marks. Phase 1 self qualifying hai. Phase 2 ke marks final merit list me count hote hai. And phase 2 has an 85% weightage while interview has 15% weightage. In the notification, the syllabus is also clearly given for paper 2 that is your law paper. Or jitna weightage mentioned hai, lagbhag usi weightage mein se questions aate hai. You should stick to this syllabus in order to prepare for this exam. Isko padne ke liye kya kya sources ko refer karna hai, yeh mein aapko kal bataunge. That is step 4. Eligibility mein you should have a bachelor degree in law and your age should lie between 21 to 30 years. Apart from exam patterns, syllabus and eligibility, you should also check out the previous year papers. Previous year papers ko dekhne se, aapko yeh samaj aayega ki kis type ke questions exam mein aate hain aur aap exam ke requirement ko samaj paayenge, aap yeh dekh paayenge ki aapko kis tarikhe ki padhai karni hai in order to appear for this exam. You can find the previous year papers on our website. Here under the previous year papers tab, you will find the previous year papers for paper 1 QRDGA, for paper 2 law and also for descriptive English. Also, you can find the PDFs attached in the description below or you can download those PDFs and check out the previous year papers. Ko. Now moving to step 2 that is do your own SWOT analysis. You know your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats and you should to analyze karna chahiye with respect to the preparation of SEBI legal exam. Now, you can see that you have to the Constitution is your strength. You have to do the Companies Act, you have to the Securities Law. Aata. Reasoning is not good, English is not good, GA is not good. So, you have to analyze your strengths and weaknesses that you have to do. That's how it can happen. Now, you have to confirm your analysis. That is where we come to step 3. In order to confirm your analysis, you should attempt a mock test. At our exam, we provide free mock tests. You can find them on our website. Under this free mock test tab, you will find the mock test for all the papers. Attempt a mock test. Analyze the score that you have got. Or dekhiye ki jin cheezo ko aap apne strengths maan rahe the, were you even able to attempt the questions of those areas and the areas which were your weakness, are they so much weak for you? And accordingly, you need to work on those areas. I have already told you, phase 1 is only qualifying. You need 80 marks out of 200 for both paper 1 and paper 2 combined, while phase 2 marks are added to final merit list and holds 85% weightage. 
Now further step 4, 5, 6 are talking about the strategy about how to prepare. This we will be talking about in our tomorrow's video. In today's video, I have told you how you can know when to start the preparation. Tomorrow we will be talking about which sources to use, whether you need mentorship or guidance or not and what to look for in guidance, what strategy to prepare, what timetable to prepare for yourself and what all sources should you trust. Ye sab hum kal discuss karenge. So now, which is the right time to start preparation? Now we don't know the date of the notification. You think you are an excellent candidate. You are also mock test in the mock test. You are also 70-80 marks. Then you may keep on revising the topics. But if you are still a beginner, and it is that in 2-3 months you can have an exam, then you have a very little time to prepare. So the right time to start the preparation for you is now. Don't waste your time waiting for the notification. Your chances of selection depend upon the type of aspirant that you are. There are very few aspirants who start their preparation 12 months before the exam and few 6 months before the exam. There are some who prepare after the notification but these are those students who lie in the range of good to excellent candidates and who either have appeared for this exam earlier, have cleared phase 1, phase 2 and reached to interview round or they have appeared for other exams and have good strong hold over the subjects. But those students who are just beginning and preparation after the notification or just one month before the exam or looking for last minute preparation will not get you your dream job this year. Then you will be the person who will be waiting for next year. Thus following the steps 1 to 3, try to assess how much time you need for your preparation and based on that, you can plan when is the right time for you to start your preparation. So this is all in this video. Subscribe to our channel to stay tuned with such relevant videos. For any queries, you can reach out to us on this number or on this email ID. At iExambi, we help you prepare 50% faster with a crisp and concise content, with a range of questions, with our flipped classrooms and a lot of other offerings. You can check them out from the demo of our course. You can also know about them by calling us on this number. Thank you.